Hey, time for another Morning Hog Brew Review. Josh from SR Parada has brought us seasonal holiday flavors that we'll have at the Hops and Hoods Craft Beer Festival at Daytona International Speedway at the Turkey Run. Stick around. It's the Morning Hog Brew Review on 95.7 The Hog. 95.7 95.7 Hog, Daytona's Rock Station. Morning Hog Brew Review time. Guess what, Steve? Josh what? from SR Parada sitting right next All to right. you, right there. Look nice. at that. But Josh, wait. Wait. Josh, you There's really more. Guess. Yes. What? We have Jay from uh, the Turkey Rod Run. Jay! Over there. Yay! Yes. Turkey Rod. That's Happy right. To be here, guys. Is it that time Happy of year already? You. It is, man. It's time to it's time to crack them open and fire them up and get it going. You can see, Jay, we don't have a calendar here in the studio. We just have this big <laughs> sign. So I, it's always a holiday season in here. Uh, so these are flavors that we're going to try today That's that right. you will have perhaps at the Speedway. At the Hobson Hoods Beer Festival. Oh, I like yep. this. We get the sneak preview. That's right. So we're going to do some holiday flavors. Uh, you know, we, we tend to try to... You know, change it up out there a little bit. So this year we're going to have some Christmas beers out there. Oh. It's just the season already, right? Yes, please. Thank um, you. We're going to start off with Abita's Christmas Ale. Okay. All right. So this, this is going to clock in at like 5.8%. All right. Mm. It's a brown ale. So typically when we start to get into these, uh, what are supposed to be cooler months, right? Right. Um, for everybody else. Is this uh, the regular ooh. seasonal? It is. Yeah, okay. Standard season. Pass that all the way down the J. Yes, yes, sir. Steve's Steve on both. the other side of the room there. Steve's got to deliver a beer. <laughs> that's okay. I don't mind. Jay is in what we call the rough beer spot. <laughs> the rough beer spot. That's right. You get whatever's left over no there. No worries. All right. We'll get you We'll get you a Thanks. longer straw or something. You can put it over here. That's right. Mm, that's all right. So, like I was saying, once you start to get into these a little bit cooler months, uh, a lot of breweries like to tend to go into these brown ales, stouts, and porters, a little bit darker beers. Okay. Uh, just to kind of warm you up when you're next to the campfires and, and uh, bonfires and stuff like that. Right. So, be it a Christmas meal, brown ale, 5 and 8. Eight percent. That's right. I mean, you could start a fire in Florida too and have a campfire. That's fine. You're allowed to do that. It is. Uh, it is a, a very brown. Mm. So you're definitely going to get some bitterness right up front. Yeah, I was yeah. going to say it's not real bitter, but it's not real sweet. That's right. Yeah. It's kind of like right in the middle. Yeah. So this is not a dessert beer by any means. Um, you know, you're not getting packed, punched with sugar or anything like that. Okay. This is a, a traditional beer. So it's beer flavored beer. Um, definitely hop forward up front yep and finishes really nice with some malt backbone to get a little bit of sweetness from that malt uh, but not sugar if that makes sense yeah like I, it makes a lot of sense actually it'll make sense when you get this and this is uh, i guess one of those that's available if you if you when you're hearing this you need to go find it right uh, absolutely before right before it disappears yeah so uh, most of these beers today that we're going to talk about are seasonal beers so if you see them out there go grab them because they will be gone right. um very limited uh, but also come out to the beer festival, try them out, see if you like them. If you don't, move on to the next and try something else. That's yeah. the whole point. Hops, right. and, Hops and Hoods has become a juggernaut, hasn't it? Yeah, it's actually, uh, this is our fifth anniversary, the sixth really? year. But we, we, had to, we had to skip one year because of COVID. But, it's all right. Understandable. Uh, yeah, exactly. But now, Saturday, the 26th, uh, it's going to be rocking. Anytime you get SR Parat and the Turkey Run crew together, right. it's a guaranteed <laughs> party, buddy. That's right. A guaranteed party. <laughs> That's right. It's, it's going to be awesome. Going to be awesome. He's not just hyping it. It's no, true. No, it, yeah. it is. It's a great event. Um, I believe this year we're going to have close to 30 tents, if I'm not mistaken. Really? And each of them carrying about four to six different Ooh. types of beers. So mm-hmm. there's a, a wide variety there. So, Steve, we we need to start we need to start prepping now. Actually. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we need yes. to start getting our, our preparation. All right, one of the other flavors we'll try there is this. So we're going to try another Abita. Oh, mm. okay. Abita likes to do two different holidays. Really? Yep. Okay. That's, That's okay. So every year, um, I'd assume a lot of companies out there have their annual office parties, right? Right. Office parties. Yes, sir. So this sir. is Abita's Ooh. office party. Wow. Wait, now, is this Look new? Up. Hmm. So they had it last year. I'm not sure how long it's been around, yeah. um, but we definitely carried it last year. Okay. Um, but again, it's a seasonal, so it's one of those in and outs. So make sure you're giving it a shot while Love you it. see it. Okay. Um, this very, one is going to be dark. a little bit darker. Yeah. Yep. Abita's so it, Office Party. It is a stout. Ooh. Now, you've seen that movie Office Party. It's probably not going to be like that. Ooh. Yeah. There's a lot of weird stuff Easy that happens low in there. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> is that right? <laughs> Ooh. Okay, this definitely has a totally different aroma. Yes, right? and yeah. a totally different taste. So here's what you would probably mm. be expecting a little bit more out of a Christmas style beer, right? Okay, yeah. I so like this. A little bit more sweetness, a little bit more of that chocolate flavor. Um, clocking at 6.8%. So if you're at the office party and you have a few of these, better watch yourself. Oh, yeah. <laughs> better, better, See, <laughs> better find a cow. You would, don't don't photocopy your buttocks that early. Yeah, Wait exactly. until later. Stay away from the HR guy. Yeah, exactly. Right. <laughs> I'm definitely picking up the vanilla. Yeah, exactly. It's, For it's sure. Tough. It has some of those great winter warmer flavors. Um, almost like a, a vanilla latte kind of. Yeah, you know? there is a little bit of uh, not coffee, but 
maybe maybe coffee. <laughs> you know what I mean? Not it's like from a, that yeah, roast and malt. Like a rich bean yeah, coffee. Yeah, but. you get that roast and malt. It has very, a lot of characteristics of, of you know a dark roasted coffee. This is really uh, good. Without having the coffee. But it does mm. have cocoa nibs. So oh, very yeah. bad. And oh. 6.8%. Oh, yeah. Right? Gonna so get it buckle done. your seatbelts. Right. <laughs> find a it could be a bumpy ride. Find a couch exactly. or a desk you can recline <laughs> yeah. on. Although, who has their office party at their office anymore? That seems like a terrible liability. You know, uh, Prat, we have to move around each year to a different hotel because yeah. I'm pretty sure we're, we have to wait till they forget that we were there. So you guys are doing smart. <laughs> we're doing it on the other side of the building over there. There's only two couches. Everybody has to vie for, for the spots. Just drink on the couch and take care of it. Uh, okay, so those are two. Both of Beta. Uh, Beta doesn't have to do two of those for you for the holidays. That's, that's right, but they oh, do it. Nice job. Nice. Uh, now, those you can find where? So these are definitely going to be at your Total Wine, ABCs. Okay. Um, but I highly encourage you to come out and check out this event. Um, I'm sure Jake can give some details on how you get in yeah. um, as far as costs and stuff like that. But, you know, come give it a shot, you know. It's, it's Jake, great. give us some details. Where, where should we be chasing tickets? Actually, starts Thursday, Thanksgiving Day. Okay. Um, you can get your tickets online at turkeyrun.com. Or you can just show up at the show. It's uh, twenty dollars Thursday through Saturday, easy, and uh, fifteen dollars on Sunday. And of course, Saturday's uh, Saturday's the day we're talking about. That's a Hops and Hoods Beer Fest. Once you get to the Beer Fest, which is located kind of show central right there, right? Um, you can buy um, uh, four samples for five bucks or ten samples for ten bucks. I highly recommend the ten for. Yeah, 10. you're cheating yourself if you go four samples. You what are you doing? Yeah. You're exactly. making a huge exactly. mistake. Yeah, because. Uh, Again, Parat brings the, they bring all these guys in, and you talk about amazing stuff. It's just a great time. It is a great time. Uh, and uh, turkeyrun.com, easy to, mm-hmm. easy to go to it. But just uh, just uh, get your tickets now. Take care of it. Make your plans yeah, for, why uh, wait? for next set. Right. Exactly. Because you're going to get black. If you go into Black Friday shopping, you, you're you going to need this afterwards, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah, and for, and- for the first uh, however many people that actually buy the Hops and Hoods ticket online, you also get a VIP parking pass, which lets you park right out front. Oh, there you go. Uh-oh. So it's an easy walk right in. Now, now so you know just how, sold We know it. how to party. We, we, we know how to party as well as they do, too. So. Yeah. <laughs> you just, I think you just sold a lot of people right there. There you go. Uh, all right. SRProt.com slash beer finder if you want to chase those down uh, outside the uh, track. Because you'll have them. You'll have those samples there yep. at, Hops, uh, at Hops and Hoods. And then you're going to be like, I have to go get more of this. <laughs> uh, all right. More coming up. Morning Hog Brew Review on 95.7 The Hog. 95.7 The Hog. Daytona's Rock Station. Riggs. Steve, Josh, Jay, the Morning Hog <laughs> Brew Review, right? Nice. That's what we're doing. Yeah. Did I get everybody's... That's, wow. Yeah, I was, that was sounds impressive. Like a, sounds like a band, actually. <laughs> Maybe we can form a band. we got time. Uh, we're talking about the Hops and Hoods Craft Beer Festival, part of the Turkey Run, Daytona International Speedway, next week and weekend, mm. Thursday through Sunday. That's right. And by the way, in addition to the beers that you were mentioning and the great all this stuff, mm-hmm. you, you're going to need some money. Because once you start walking around the vendor alleys and stuff... There's oh, yeah. so much shopping to be done. I mean, I've like literally drained bank accounts at this yeah. event before. Other people's there. Yeah. Oh no, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. No, I'm not going to use my card. I'm not an idiot. Yeah. Every yeah. kind of every kind of car part, automotive thing you could you could want in our massive SWAT meet. Yeah. And then if you're feeling really froggy, take a walk through the car corral where all the cars are for sale. Yeah. Find your dream car. If you're just window shopping, take a cruise through the through the show field and see all the show cars. So good. Long story short, over seven thousand cars total for show and sale in the yeah. show. Uh, 1,500 swap vendors, just just amazing stuff everywhere you look, as well as food and, of course, amazing drink. That's right. At uh, the Hops and Hoods Beer Festival. That's right. It's, it's, it's a great time. Steve and I bought Christmas presents for each other. Yeah, I, 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 I was going to say, don't forget, they also have Hot Wheels. Yes, yeah, Steve. <laughs> they do. A, Steve is a Hot Wheels uh, collector. I, I mm-hmm. probably bought about 10 or 12. Yeah, he's got a problem. Nice. Yeah, it's, it's not good. I wouldn't uh, call it a problem. Well, it's... <laughs> We'll find, we'll find out next Saturday. Yeah. We'll yeah. All right, let's get back to the drinking, Josh, for crying out loud. What I, you got I, I'm for it. Let's do it. So we have a, a, an old classic. It's been around for quite a while. It's okay. Sierra Nevada's Celebration. Okay. Ooh. Oh, yes, please. So this is where it gets Thank a little you. different. Um, you know, like I said, porters, stouts are the typical thing out there. Right. Sierra Nevada's like, nah, we ain't going to do that. Yes. We're going to go ahead with a fresh hopped IPA. Yeah. Mm. So This this mm. beer is one of my top five favorite beers of the entire year. Yes. Year. It's people. Me too. People ask me all the time when it's going to be here. Yeah. Because again, it's a seasonal. So once it's here. Yeah. And then it's gone. It is gone until next year. And I tried the hoard last year and I thought, oh, buy 12. And I was like, that's not enough at all. 12 is <laughs> not nearly enough. I have one a month. What am I doing? I'm already out. Okay. Mm. So fresh hop IPA. Um, pretty much they go and they pick. 
fresh hops, fresh cone hops, instead of using pellets or something like that. Right. Man. And then they have a very short window to go wow. into this beer. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Mm. So you are going to get some major hop flavor yes. right up yes. front. Yes. The aroma is going to be hop. And if you look at the color, it's a little bit darker than most IPAs. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, yep. But it's because it's going to have a nice malt backbone to kind of round everything out. And, it's like hide on my beer. You know, kind of smooth out the palate a little bit. This that is... Really uh, you, you know what this is like? What's up? You know those new uh, competitions where people... Like people slap each other. Yes, that's what this is. <laughs> like a slap, <laughs> slap in the face. It, it is, but I, but I, but you don't is, get knocked out. This should be celebrate Riggs beer is what it should be called. Uh, yeah, this is me. It's definitely up your alley. It's me sure. in a can. If you ever want to taste me, get one of those. <laughs> don't ever say that. <laughs> See, to yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> well, don't what? ever say that again. What's the problem? Roll that backwards. <laughs> okay. yeah, you could probably edit that part out. Uh, but it's uh, so. Uh, and this is again. But a couple months available, maybe in markets exactly. and stuff. Very, very short window. We, yeah. we come off their last seasonal straight into this in the spring. So, okay. I mean, the window for this is about eight weeks. Would you wow. say if I went to Total Wine like today, I might be able to find it? You are one hundred percent. Yeah. Well, I've gotta go, guys. Yeah. yeah. Later. <laughs> Briggs, come back. Right, yeah, no Total Wine, ABC, Publix's, um, local independents. Uh, okay. You might be able to find them some convenience stores as well if okay. you get lucky. Uh, but I would definitely check out the mm. website. Okay, SR Prot. Dot com slash beer finder. Now you can find it uh, on uh, Saturday at the uh, Hops and Hoods Craft Beer right. Festival. Absolutely. Right? What do you find when when you first started this, which was not nearly this big? Mm-hmm. Did you think like, all right, five years in, we now we've got. I mean, people are. This is a destination for people. It's like a whole different crowd all of a sudden, right? You already absolutely. You already had beer loving car enthusiasts, but now you've combined those disciplines. It, exactly, and and I think our biggest challenge every year is. Okay, this thing's getting so big. Where do we do it next right, year? Right. We try to keep it in the same location and make some changes to give plenty of room for people to move around. And yeah. you know, you gotta you gotta taste that experience. And just walking through there, walking mm-hmm. through Hops and Hoods, yeah. you yes. get all these aromas that just, <laughs> yes. as you said, slap the, you the in the smells face, of, grab yeah. you by the color, and say, "Drink me." Yes. It's, just, it's yep. amazing. And and the uh, the Turkey Run folks. You people are a genius because they put the food trucks right next to oh, where yeah. the beer oh, yeah. is. Really smart. Because yep. <laughs> once you have a couple of these, you're like, you know what? I could eat an entire turkey leg. Exactly. <laughs> I Let usually get the beer munchies. Do you? Yeah. I'm yeah. with you on that You saying you got yeah. it now? Or? Well, wait. Josh has got one more beer first, so let's do that. Okay. All right. <laughs> yeah, before you start eating. Okay. okay. I'll hold off. All right. What's next? So this is kind of like the quintessential classic uh, Christmas ale. Okay. It's by Anchor, which has been around for Ooh, yeah. really? forever, okay. it seems like, anyway. Um, this particular beer has been around for the last 43 years. Wow. The last 43 years, they changed up the recipe just slightly every single year, and they changed the, the graphics on the bottle. Okay. So no bottle really? from a previous year is exactly the same. Let's see okay. it. Now, that's pretty cool. Uh, that's see that's it. amazing. Show it yeah. off, bro. Show yeah, it off like, it, like it's a beautiful yeah. tat. Oh, it's yeah. always going to have that Christmas tree on it, um, but... Every year, slight variation. They used to do them in much bigger bottles in the bombers, but they moved into six pack bottles, so that way oh. you can enjoy a little bit at a time. Okay. So trying to down a, right. a champagne bottle. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you really, it's a full commitment at that point. All right, this is definitely pouring a little darker than the uh, celebration for sure. Yeah, so you're gonna get a little bit of a darker beer. Okay. Um, like I said, when it when it comes to these cooler Ooh. weather months and stuff like that, yeah. uh, it, it's mm. just. For me, it's much more enjoyable. Ooh, look at that! Well, that's got a—that's a holiday and a cup right there. Yes, All it right. is. Ooh! All right. Now, now what's, what's different about this? Well, so the reason I was—we uh, were ending on this—is because this bumps up to seven point two percent. Oh! <laughs> Holy cow! Yeah. Holy! Yes, it does. Ayo. Yikes! All right, I like it already. That's some killer Santa juice right there. Right? Santa juice. And there's, Ooh, I and like there's that. definitely more. I coin that. If not fruity, there's <laughs> something. Juice. What else is going yes. on here? So you're getting. Uh, I think it's almost a. Maybe like a nutmeg or something like that. Okay. Um, yeah. Like I said, some of those holiday winter warmer spices, they're not wow. super strong though, which no. is nice. It, not it bitey. still drinks like a beer. It's not drinking like syrup or anything like that. Right. Um, so very enjoyable. And at 7.2% during Christmas, you're probably going to need this. This does nice. look like a, not an Irish red or something, but it, just for the color, it, but it does look like it should drink heavier than it does. It's very light. Yeah. It's very yeah, light. Yeah. It's not bitey. Yeah. No, I mean, it's, it's very enjoyable. And again, light it's not these super heavy beers just because it's a dark beer does not mean it's heavy people have the misconception that guinness is this heavy bready right uh just heavy beer yeah and it's not it's one of the thinnest beers out there yeah 
which is wild. I was that guy. I was like, I can't yep. drink a Guinness. All yep. right, I'll, I'll get a, I'll get a second stomach and pour it in there, and it's, it's very light. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, so now yeah, this is one of the beers you can have at the uh, Hops and Toads Craft Beer Festival. And I would think when you're standing out, we don't know if the weather's going like, to be like, yeah, we're still a few days oh, out. Oh, the weather's going to be amazing. You're going to see, yeah, yeah he's the gonna weather's going to be amazing. He's guarantee. <laughs> now, so he's not a licensed meteorologist. Don't hold him to that. But <laughs> so I'm going to make this a little special. Sure. So, Abita and Sierra will both have a tent out that way okay. for the day. All right. uh, Anchor does not. Okay. So you find me, <gasps> Steve or Riggs, and we'll get oh! you a sample of this Anchor Boom! Christmas. Boom! Boom! Did you catch that what just happened? Nice. Josh has made a guarantee. <laughs> while supplies last. <laughs> yeah. Well, exactly. Yeah. While supplies yeah. last. Yeah. But like I said, you won't find it in any of the tents, so find one of us and, and we'll kind of Look at that. You some of this. Okay. I lo- oh, I love mm. this already. Steve, you catch that? I yeah, we definitely just, caught we just, it. We just became significantly more valuable at the Hops and Hoops Craft Beer Festival. Because <laughs> you know? I always thought we were just kind of hangers on, but now we got something to, to hold in our uh, on our pockets a little bit. Nice. We won't keep the beer in our pocket. That'd be weird because we'll, <laughs> we'll naturally drink it. Uh, all right, so uh, again, that's also, mm. even though it's been around forever, seasonal, yep. short window, total wine. Yep, total wine, ABC. Okay. Um, it, this one will be a little bit more difficult to find. Uh, yeah. We only got in about 20 cases of it. So oh. check oh. out the website, and that's going to push you right where you need to go. You talk about the uh, website that is uh, attached to SR Prod. It's srprod.com slash beer finder. You can go look that up. That's right. Or uh, you got to you got to go to the turkey run. Absolutely. You know, you know and make it. So uh, for people, again, who have uh, missed up to this point, tell them how they can get their tickets. Absolutely. Go to turkeyrun.com right now. Right. And Simple. you can buy your Hops and Hoods tickets in advance. And uh, for the first half, couple hundred people, you get a VIP parking pass, park right outside. Uh, 20 bucks to get in. And the show is Thursday through Sunday. It yeah. starts Thanksgiving Day, the 24th through the 27th. The Beer Fest on Saturday, um, the 26th. It's, it's going to be amazing. Make your way show central mm-hmm. uh, to, to Hops and Hoods. Um, you can get uh, – uh, Four samples for five bucks or ten samples for ten bucks, which is the way to go. Yes, because uh, you, you, you're going to want to refresh that once you get yeah. those ten. You got to try some more. It's that's just true. ten just isn't enough. So that, that's it's going to be amazing. Some of those tents have those generous pours too. Oh, yeah. You got to you, yeah. you find the ones you love. You go to them, uh, and and you and you. It's it is a show too. By the way, it's it's a show. I mean, like Absolutely. you said, there's so much to see. It's hard to take it all in in a day. And that's why we always say that's why it's a four day show with yeah. seven thousand plus cars for show and sale, right. fifteen hundred swap vendors. Uh, close to 70 food vendors. We have uh, Artisan Alley, which is arts and crafts in it. Yes. And then, of course, Hops and Hoods. It's just, you, you can't do it all in one day, dude. You just can't. No, and I got to, last year, I got one of my Georgia Bulldog license plates from one of the one of the artisans. And, there you go. Uh, and I bent it, and so I have to get a new one. Oh, there so you go. I have to be oh. shopping, yeah. Get some metal signs for your thing <laughs> or whatever. There's so much. There. And uh, Steve and I will be, uh, we're going to, we, we're putting out our clothing line. We're going to have a tent over there. I don't know if you know about that, too. Right, Steve, our, our new short Absolutely. pants here. Are yeah. they just jeans that he got from his neighbor? Yeah, well, they're yes, they're uh, <laughs> the pants neighbor's jeans, and we just cut them off. So basically, they're jorts, but they yeah. got they got Steve did some artwork on okay, them. Okay, right. yeah. nice. Yeah. I, I, I bedazzled a pair. I was gonna say I see some bedazzling coming. Get them, get them while they're hot. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, until uh, that Saturday that we all join at the Daytona International Speedway. Cheers. Cheers. Absolutely. <laughs>